Good evening everybody, it's Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here with you tonight, January the 6th, uh, 2020 for your weekly angel reading. I'll just wait for a few people to jump on the call before I start my live call for the week. Thank you for being here on my page, it means the world to me. If you don't know who I am, Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady, I help you to connect with your angels so that you can lead an easier and a more prosperous life. Let me know you're here. Please give me some hearts and I would be so grateful if you could share the live stream. That would mean the world to me because it could be a message that somebody in your circle needs to see. Thank you, Nora. I can see good W, good work, I suppose that means, and hearts. So that's adorable. Thank you, Facebook, for playing the game tonight. That's a change. And it's, oh, good morning, Nora's trying to say. Well, it's evening here in Australia. And uh, good morning to you. Hi, Jenny. How are you? We'll just wait for a few. Aloha, Roxanne. Lovely to have you here, top fan. Helen, as usual, is here. Blessings to you and yours. Um, let me know where you live. That would be really great to see what country you are from and see how far our reach gets. Um, very good. We've got a few people on the call. Natalie is from South Australia. Hi, Natalie. I hope you're all good over there. Hi Jenny, uh, Carolyn's from Ireland, that's fantastic, welcome Maria, heart, thanks for the hearts, that's beautiful and Diane says hello and she's a top fan as well. Hi Shazza, I will be giving away an angel scope um, and another lovely lady Mary from Ireland and Nora's also from Ireland so we've got a lot of Irish people here and Margarita's well from Ireland so welcome to all our Irish friends. Um, what was I going to say? Can't remember, doesn't matter. Um, I'm here to do your weekly reading. That's what I am going to do. But also, I'm going to give away an angel scope tonight. And I will announce the winner of last week, who was on the call last week, uh, later. So don't go anywhere. Please like and share the stream uh, because you could be the winner. Um, and if you're on the replay, please um, have a go at guessing as well. Not yet. I'll tell you when to start um, putting your answers in. And uh, you could also win. Tracy says, I hope you're dealing with the fires all right. Prayers from you from um, Grass Valley, California. Thank you so much, Tracy. And I do want to have, thank you so much, Shaz. I do want to have a little speech. You know, I like to talk, but I actually tonight, I want to have a little speech. If you're from Ireland or US or Canada or somewhere else in the world, yes, we have a disaster, a, a nationwide disaster here in Australia. We have had devastating bushfires, some of which are still uh, in blaze. Many, many people have lost their homes. A hectares and hectares and hectares of bushland and land has been burnt to the ground. Many of our beautiful animals have been um, killed in the fires. Our koalas are now going to be in a very, very low, um, dangerous situation. Thank goodness we've got great wildlife people and zoos here that will aim to keep our po koala population going. Thank you so much, Nora. I'm in a, in a country town two hours out of Melbourne, so we're safe at the moment. Close to us near Euroa, there has been some fires deliberately lit. I mean, seriously, human beings. I know it's a mental disorder, pyromania, but it is really dangerous. And apparently a majority of the fires that were that was started in the new, in New South Wales were lit by a fireman because unfortunately the CFA does attract the pyromaniac which is very minimal in the population of the world but the damage they can do is just atrocious and why anyone would want to deliberately light fires is beyond me it is a mental condition it is a mental condition so thank you everyone prayers are perfect perfect prayers reiki healing Prayers for rain is what you do at the moment. I'm, as I said, I'm going to have a little speech. And I don't often have a little speech, but I am going to have a little speech tonight because I have the platform to do it. Now, you'll see amazing people using their platforms to create positivity, such as our amazing little um, comedian lady, who I think, because of her connections in the States, she's got worldwide connections, has raised something like 
something astronomical, millions and millions and millions of dollars in a, a Facebook, you know, funding thing. Now, good on her. But I can tell you, I've just about had a gut full of looking at certain social media and what it's actually invoking, which is anger and blame. We need to stop it. Stop focusing on being angry. This is heartbreaking, and I don't like to use the words heartbreaking, but there's a time and place for everything. What's happening here in Australia and what's happened since November, these fires started in November in, this, in New South Wales, is heartbreaking. But there is no place for anyone who has a social media following to invoke anger, to invoke fear, and to be blaming anyone. I'm not even blaming the pyromaniacs that started it. I want to send the angels to them so that they can get the love and the healing and out of a CFA. Or they get caught. One of the, I'm not really praying for people to get caught. But, do you know what I'm saying? What you focus on persists. So we do not focus on being angry. We do not focus on blaming anyone. I do not want to hear any more blame. I don't want to hear the blame for the Prime Minister, the blame for this political party or that political party. It is no place on social media. If you are a light worker, you need to be invoking peace and love. Not fear and anger and blame. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of seeing it. If you see it in your newsfeed, unsubscribe from their page. Get it off your newsfeed. You do not want to get caught in it. People have the ability to spread tentacles, right? And they draw people in. Now, sometimes when you have someone who has a social media um, community, they will use that to build their community, right? What they do, whether it's conscious or subconscious, they will be, and a lot of times, I'm, I'm totally sure it's subconscious. They're not aware of what they're doing. They're building their community through, like, throwing a match out there into social media. And it goes, woof, okay. Because someone makes a comment about the Prime Minister, then 30,000 people have a comment about the Prime Minister, okay, which induces their feed, okay, on their Facebook page. Just saying. If you see it, people, and some people with lower energies have the ability to drag people in because they're sad. Yes, tick. Everybody's sad. You cannot sit at your TV and watch those fires and not be affected. Okay? It is real life and it has been devastating for many Australians, wildlife, everybody, the people that are working there, the CFA, the firefighters, the salvos, everybody who are exhausted. It is devastating. But you do not get dragged into negativity in a Facebook post feed. Whether someone's put up uh, something about, you know, the Aboriginal people should take over, burning of, you know, whatever, that's fine. But don't get caught into it when you have people that are throwing out lots of negativity, blaming the Prime Minister, the, this party, the, that party. Politics does not have a place in this at the minute, as far as I'm concerned. We need to be focused on taking positive action, sending love, sending light and healing to people in Australia. Okay, right? Do not be enticed into commenting on posts that are really angry and are out of blame. When people are blaming, they are not being prosperous. They are in a very low energy, okay? We can all slip into it, and you may have been caught in this, but don't be caught anymore, because I'm here as a light worker to tell you, you need to stop it. You do not share that sort of stuff anywhere on social media, unsubscribe from their page if you have to because you do not want to get caught into this okay let me know what you think inciting anger blaming people is not going to help someone whose house has been burnt to the ground and they've lost their puppy and they've lost their cat we need to be doing things that are positive we need to be enticing love and healing and peace okay Watch your words, make sure they're positive. Do not comment, do not get involved in social media like that. Do not get involved. Use your actions 
to promote good in the world. Okay? I don't care if you don't have any money. Go and bake a cake or something if you're down in Gippsland and give it to someone. We are doing a, a, a drive at the moment because Uplift Bras, you know we support Uplift Bras who do, do a lot of international aid work. But I'm telling you, they're Aussie women. They have very, very well done girls, shifted their focus to concentrate on Australia at the moment. And that's what needs to happen because we have a national disaster. They have a huge supply of bras and they urgently need brand new knickers, underwear, briefs. So the AOK Healing Centre, myself, my staff, are now, as we continue to support Uplift Bras, we are supporting this. I am going to drive down tomorrow. Now, this is more powerful as a light worker to do something positive, okay? I don't have to use every cent I own, even though I, I have in the bank, even though I have made a donation from AOK Healing Centre to this CFA Fire Brigade. I have been down and I have personally bought underwear and knickers. I meant to bring a packet in to show you, but I have done that. And I will be driving them down to Melbourne, two and a half hours, two hours from here, to take them to my connections in Melbourne. Now, these uplift bras, I have been down there and I've seen their shed and it's scary <laughs> because they have many... Um, you actually have to be um, approved as a drop-off point, which I am at my healing centre. They have people just bring bras in the box loads and just dump them there. Now, when we accept bras and underwear and bathers and maternity bras and sports bras and so forth at the healing centre, my staff, my beautiful Mel, actually goes through and sorts them. We don't want to take dirty, disgusting, horrible, filthy bras down to uplift bras, especially at the moment. So we actually sort through. Now, Mel, God bless her, little light worker. This is an example, and I'm, she won't want me to say it, but I'm going to. She came in today, unbeknownst to me, to the centre, not her day to work, and she went through and she sorted all our bras and knickers that we've had collected for the last so many months. I don't think I've been down to Melbourne since the start of December because we've been too busy with Christmas. And she's put all of them into boxes. And she says, thank you to everyone who dropped off brand new undies today. It's very appreciated. So keep them coming. Yes, it is very appreciated. Into boxes so that we can take down these things. On I can probably take them down Friday to uplift bras and decrease their work. They normally only have a volunteer sorting of all these boxes they get from all over the place. Whenever they can get volunteers, they have not got time for that at the moment. These women work full time. Um, so what we've done is what they're needing at the moment is they need brand new underwear, undies, right? Brand new in packets with labels on, nothing used, okay? And they need large cup size bras, so F, G and further on, that are in reasonable condition. So... What I'm planning to do is take it down. I will be able to give her a box and then she's going to drive it somewhere down wherever Gippsland probably and uh, delivered. And she knows that we will supply her and she won't even have to look at it. And that's what we want. So positive action, positive words. My mother always said, if it isn't, if you think something that's not great, it should not come out of your goddamn mouth. Okay, social media should be the same. Do not underestimate the impact you have on social media, especially if you're an influencer or if you are a light worker like me who has a large community, a large Facebook fan. I ask you to take positive action. If you see something in your feed that's going downhill at the rate of knots and people are getting involved, and don't let me share this with you. Something else I want to share with you. Some of these people that get on these feeds and invoke this sort of stuff will be spammers. They won't be Jenny Brown. They'll be Mr. Spammer Man who's got nothing better to do than to create havoc in the world. They are entities. They are low vibration. Okay? So if you see this sort of stuff happening, get off it. Unsubscribe from their page. Do not play into it and don't play the game. It is low vibration and it is no good people. Okay? We want to stay 
focused is our key word tonight. We need to focus, okay? We need to focus on what we can do. Whatever you can do. Whatever you can um, whatever you can um, do that is positive to promote change. Whether that's giving $5, whether that's take, clearing out your cupboards and taking stuff to the salvos. I know they don't want lots of extra clothes, but I'm telling you, down the track... They don't want, like, I think the drop-off points in Melbourne are just, people's generosity has been phenomenal. But do that here locally, in your own local town. Take your stuff to Selvos, because eventually that will be needed. It will be needed. Um, bring out, Go to Kmart tomorrow and, or Target or somewhere and buy a pack of five knickers and bring them up to AOK. Now, that is a positive thing to do, okay? Sorry, I have had to have a rank, but I'm, I'm over it. I'm sick of watching it. Now, if you're getting very, very sad from watching the TV, because the media, it's their job to invoke, you know, ratings, and they have a job to do, which is report, but sometimes they can get a little bit out of line to, you know, you know, to create a good story. So my mother would say, you have to watch it. Otherwise, you don't know what's going on. You know what? I do know what's going on. And I actually choose not to watch every single news report that's on the TV. Because if you don't feel that there's something wrong, and if you watch it, watch it incessantly, it's no good for your energy. It shifts you into a really low energy. So you need to maintain your energy. So be mindful of how sad you're feeling, because it is sad. But the more you watch that and the more you feed into that too, it's going to just make you sick. Also, I want to say, please watch out for your neighbours, your friends, elderly people because of the smoke. We've got thick haze here two hours from Melbourne today. Watch people with the smoke because the next thing that's going to happen is that the smoke can affect people's health. Okay, And that's Australia-wide as well. So be on the guard and watch out for your neighbours and your friends and the elderly with smoke, okay? And don't forget, we do have a, a salt room here at, in, um, at the Healing Centre, which will help with respiratory stuff. And salt rooms all over Australia could be a great option for people that have very bad asthma and so forth. Um, yeah, so that's another option that could help. So please step into your light worker shoes and do not get caught up in the blame and the anger. And I totally understand that there's anger out there, but someone who's had their house burnt down, yes, they can be angry. But someone who's reacting, who hasn't had their house burnt down, they're a social influencer, they have a big community, does not have the right to incite blame and anger and become political. Just saying. Amen. <laughs> okay? That's where I'm going to leave it. But I want you to be positive. And focus on what we need to do. Prayer and Reiki healing are brilliant. Sending angels is a brilliant thing to do. I don't care if you don't know how to do it. Just say anything. Say any prayer. It will be received by the angelic realm and they will help. The more we can do, the better. Okay. Thank you, Mel. Okay, I've had a speech. Anywho, it needed to be said, I believe. Right, take a deep breath, everybody. Let me have a drink of water. Nora says amen. Thank you, Nora. Okay, let's do our weekly week reading and let's focus on positives for everybody, okay? For everybody. Everybody affected, everybody watching, anyone who's international. Let's focus just on the week. This is a general reading for everybody here who's landed on my page. And thank you for being here. Michelle Newton, Aussie Angel Lady. Please let's send lots of hearts so that we can send love around the world, especially around Australia at the moment. There we go. Cards are plumped. The first uh, lot of cards I'm going to work with is the Angel Feather Oracle, which is 44 coloured feathers and associated angel messages. This is what we need. This is good. Okay. The next lot of cards I'm going to read with is the Archangel Michael Sword and Shield Oracle. We'll bring Archangel Michael. He is the patron of firefighters, policemen, anyone in the armed forces. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, USA, for sending your amazing armed services here to help us. We are so, so, so grateful. 
your amazing um, Irwins are doing amazing work with the wildlife up in Queensland. Thank you, Bindi and her mum. Okay, this is very, very good. This is a really good reading, actually. There is healing here for us when we focus on the correct thing. Okay, there's healing, the aqua angel feathers. You have healing hands, and that's what I'm talking about, sending love and light to people. The angels acknowledge that you have unique healing talents and abilities. Your magical prowess is required in service. Is this not what I've just had a speech about? This is what we should be doing. Archangel Michael said there's a missing piece of the puzzle, spiritual vision. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key activates the windows of the soul, effectively heightening your spiritual vision to reveal a missing piece of information. That is very good news. The golden keys are magical cards. The area of challenge for us is on getting things done. It's the red angel feather. So this is in challenge. And of course, this will be fire as well. The red color is fire. You know, it totally makes sense. It's in the area of challenge. The angels advise you that a project or idea you've been working on is finally nearing the point of transformation. So keep going if you feel like you're not getting anywhere. I felt a bit like that since the start of January. feel like I'm not getting anywhere. But you know what? I've had a bit of a rest. So that's really good. So, you know, if the pause button's on, like I said in the uh, yearly reading that I did um, Wednesday, I think Wednesday or Thursday, you could feel like the pause button's on, and that's totally understandable. Speak up. Your pearls of wisdom have been um, uh, are needed. So this is the, the, the solution to being in pause and, um, and not taking action. Archangel Michael asks that you speak up at this point in time. Your viewpoint needs to be heard. However, some people won't like what I've said tonight. <laughs> okay. Well, toodly pip. I don't care. Um, I don't think I've said anything wrong. All I'm focusing on is positivity. Um, but this could be people speaking the wrong thing as well, like I've been talking about as well. Some people won't like what I've said. They're more than welcome to leave my page. Um, and other people are saying the wrong things. This is in challenge in social media. Totally what I was talking about. A turning point for us is that there's an open door coming. This is a beautiful card, the burnt orange angel feather. The angels ask that you be very observant as an exciting opportunity is about to present. This is midweek. Um, this is beautiful. And there's three gifts of white light. So if, even if you miss the opportunity, the angels will shine the light down on it for you to see. This is a gift from heaven. This is amazing. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key brings you the three gifts of light. They allow you to feel joy in your heart and for you to live happily in the here and now. This is a gift from heaven. This is amazing. Any opportunities that come for you midweek and on are heaven sent. Difficulties are being resolved. This is fantastic here. It's a turning point. Oh, sorry, this is the area of the unknown. Get it right, Michelle. You can't see that. You can't see the opportunity coming, but it's coming. This is the turning point. Difficulties being resolved. This is fabulous. The angels are present to inform you that a particularly difficult period in your life is coming to an end. Thank you, angels. That is beautiful. And you will be able to take a deep breath. That's great news. Ask Angel, Archangel Michael asks that you take a slow, deep breath to bring inner peace and balance. Breathe in calm and breathe out stress. Fantastic. The turning point, the turning point, the outcome for us is the silver angel feather. Connect with the moon. Connect with Archangel Gabriel. She's the messenger. She's the powerful, positive communicator. That's who we need to communicate with at the moment. The angels advise you to sit out and walk in the moonlight. These moon's energies will light up your path and protect you on your way. Using some moonstone this week would be great. Justice and truth will prevail. Okay. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key ensures that the truth is revealed and the scales of justice are balanced. Justice is always around when Michael's here. He will not like what's being said on social media. I'm telling you now. Amen again. Thank you. That was a beautiful reading. That was for today, 6th of January through to Sunday, the 12th. Do not forget we have a full moon on Saturday, the, the 11th of January, which is a great time to release, loosen and let go of anything that no longer serves you. It's a great idea to go through your Facebook, you know, your, your phone index, all those sorts of things and take people off that you haven't had anything to do with for a while or, you know, have um, not resonated with you in the last little while. 
I would love to give um, an angel scope away to a lucky winner who uh, was with us last week. So congratulations goes to Amanda Rotondo. Congratulations, Amanda. You have won the angel scope for last week. You need to email me. Um, let's try support at michellenew10.com and within 24 hours and I will send you your angel scope. Anyone else who would like to win an angel scope scope from tonight's reading please go ahead and pop what star sign you think I have written on my paper into the comments and please share it you can enter multiple times but please share every time that is the terms of the of the um, little competition so that would be fantastic if you could do that replay viewers are more than welcome to also uh, enter the the competition to win an angel scope if you haven't got yours yet you can go onto my website michellenew10.com and get one there the link is in the description to my shop and my apps and so forth um, so please go on and have a look at that if you pop the keyword focus into the comments, it will take you through to my bot, Gabby. I will activate it. I think, I don't know whether it's working at the moment. Um, I might have to activate it when I get off. So um, so uh, just give me a moment. And um, what was I going to say? Also in there is a um, my free PDF ebook, which is called um, Getting Clear for a Magical Year. And as I've been doing my, um, <laughs> my reading, on my Facebook Messenger, someone's written on the bot, it's come up on my feed, uh, nothing is free in life. Well, you know what? Actually, it is free. <laughs> so, <coughs> it is. It's free. I give a lot away. Oh, that's what I'm about. I'm an earth angel. So, just saying, it is free. Um, and you can download that through the bot, through Messenger. Please follow the instructions, read it clearly, and follow the instructions, and you'll get a card for the week. And you can also download my free Getting Clear for a Magical Year PDF. Um, so that's all I want to say for tonight. Be mindful, be aware, and be a light worker. Okay? Be in high energy and focus on what you can do that can provide positive change. And if that means getting rid of posts on your Facebook phone, do it. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for supporting me and for supporting our work. Um, we hope we make a difference. We know we make a difference. And if you have not um, joined my closed group, ladies, Manifesting Prosperity for Spiritual Women, please go on there and join. I'd love to see you in there. And mahalo to you, Roxanne. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for being here. Uh, it truly means the world that you are here every week. And I appreciate you. And I will see you very, very soon. Don't forget to local Golden Valley women. Do not forget, please bring out your brand new undies to the AOK Healing Center um, before close on 5 p.m. Thursday. I'll probably go to Melbourne Friday, I would say, at this stage. So um, we're so grateful to all the ladies who bought out undies today. We're so, so grateful. And the other thing we need are large bras. So G upwards, F, G bras upwards. If you know anyone who doesn't need some or got some lying around, please bring that. If they're in good condition, because these girls do not have time to go through and check everything. Um, we're doing that for them. So thank you for supporting us and thank you for focusing on being an earth angel, sending love, light and peace to people, setting a positive example. If you haven't got something good to say, don't say anything. Don't get caught up in it. Thank you very, very much. We need to support each other. Okay. Thank you. Toodaloo. Bye-bye.